So it's a real miracle. We started with this useless, rocky piece of ground, and over the years, the desert began to bloom in spring. Self sustainability was really one of the things that drew me to the Hope for Haiti work. I'm really impressed with the efforts that they put forth in helping the children to learn how to produce vegetables and fruits. Our orphanages continue to focus on raising goats, chickens, turkeys. Each of the children are really harvesting the eggs each morning. They just get up and that's part of their day. I think it's exciting because it provides them training in a way. They're, they're caring for a food source. It's just showing them that if they can continue to do their chores in the morning, they can, you know, feed themselves and feed a family one day, and they see that that really does work. Clearly, as children get larger, they're going to require more space to be able to do anything, whether it's eating a meal or trying to do their homework or just playing games. They need a space of their own. They need a place where they can, where they can eat, where they can study. This new kitchen facility, this new dining area, is going to help to provide for their growing needs. With the construction of the new dining hall, they're going to be able to use that roof space for solar panels, and that will be a renewable power source for the entire orphanage area. It will be a very wise use of the space that they're adding to the grounds. Can you hear? 